everyone, and welcome back to Sarah's Space, or Sarah Lee Sunday Speaks, the YouTube sister channel to Sarah's, Sarah's Space. There we go. Um, I thought today that what we could do is explore the rotators. Six muscles on either side of the lower buttocks, or underneath the gluteus maximus and the top of the hamstring area, that are imperative for turnout. I have a few exercises that I have been doing to wake them up every single morning. Uh, for probably over 20 years now. Actually, I think we're going on to almost 30 years. Just simply because it feels good. It feels as though then my body wakes up to that unusual way of working. And also, uh, the other side benefit of it is, is that it actually strengthens them. So, let's give those a try. So the first one, you actually start with your legs as extended as you can out from the hip sockets. Your forehead will be down. Your neckline is long. Put your hands basically on top of one another so that your forehead can rest. Keep a long line so your face doesn't smush into the floor. You are going to elongate one leg at a time. And as you, I'm just going to move this a tiny bit. And as you elongate, you're going to feel as though someone is pressing down from your gluteus medius, which is up at the top of your curve of your bum. They're pressing down and long. You're going to hold for one, two, three, four, five. Then you're going to turn in and do five little pumps of that same leg. And if you actually feel at the back of your hamstring, you will feel the rotators plus the top of the hamstring connection engage. You are then gonna, without ever touching the ground in between, you're gonna articulate through your foot and do one, two, three, four, five, and do one, two, three, four, five. So I do five of each of those interchanging on each leg after I did my five of each of those, I would then go to the next leg. The next one that I do is more like a rond de jambe. And this is the same idea where you are lengthening out and along and your leg is as extended as it possibly can be. But as you know, it is not that far off the ground. You are going to do tiny little rond de jambe en dehors, away from the center of the body, and then tiny little rond de jambe en dedans into the center of the body. I do three circles in each direction. I guess it ends up being more two and a half by the time I come back in and I don't ever put the foot down in between. I repeat those three circles in each direction five times. At the end of that, my rotators are yelling at me, which is a good sign that they've been working. Last but not least, I do one that is essentially also helping, helping to strengthen your gluteus medius in preparation for arabesque and attitude. So I've done five of the, these ones, and these ones, so each one of those gets five on each side. Each side gets five of these, and then I go and finish the whole situation off with making a long and low attitude in which I am emphasizing rotation. Oh, note to self, my uh, iliac crest don't really protrude too much, but if you find the front of your pelvis is really digging into the ground, just put an exceptionally thin yoga mat underneath the front of what you would probably call your hip bones, but there's no such thing. They're your iliac crest, it's the front of your pelvis. So it's the front of your hip joint, but there's no such thing as a hip bone. So you're digging, you might be digging them into the ground, you can have a mat underneath them. You're gonna lift your leg up into a low attitude, and you're gonna do 20 pumps, and they're so small. And you're trying to feel as though if this were to come up off the ground, it would be in a good alignment. So your foot should be behind your spine, and you're just thinking as long as you possibly can as you do those 20 pumps on each side. And then that, at the very end, if you feel as though, wow, that was a lot of work for my rotators, you can stretch out what I call your haunches, which is more of an animal terminology, but I like it. And you can just reach out in this direction and relax your upper body, which also goes into the rotators and the top of the gluteus medius. And that's today's exercise that's uh, targeting our rotators and the top of our hamstring. And I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you again in either Sarah Sunday Speaks YouTube channel or possibly listening to Sarah Space Podcasts. Thank you.